So a little video to add to the collection uh, while I'm in the middle of doing other things. This is a little cheeky project where I'm going to add lighting to the Intercity 125. Now this particular set is the R3608 and it was the railroad range uh, release that was 2019-2020. Now as you may have seen in my previous video or through other videos, this is the power car, uh, very similar to the super detailed that was released in 2013 um, but the dummy car has no electrics no pickups no lighting no nothing so you don't need a decoder in the dummy car which would sit that way around once that's driving away now the idea is i'm going to put some red lighting in the dummy car um, because the power car has traction tires and it's man enough to pull as a trailing unit as trailers as they as we speak but to actually push it back the other way um, puts a lot of strain on that motor and the traction tire itself um, so we're only going to run this one way um, and it's a case I just pick them up swap them around if I want to change directions lucky for me I have two sets of HST so I can run either one in either direction so it really doesn't affect me so I thought it'd be really good to show you how I add some LEDs to this uh, just a dummy chassis really and put some power into it so let's put it on the bench and let's get cracking Okay, so we've got our car onto the unit. Um, I'm going to bring down the test track, which I'm just going to unhinge down to there. That gives me that. I can put this body on the back there, out of the way. Now, I uh, use my little bit of foam. This is just a bit of foam and a bit of cloth, and I can change that. That's what that is. Now, uh, that protects the loco. So what we do, we take the body off. You've got two little screws underneath there and there. out right then to get your body off I uh, just a little flat screwdriver a little tiny screwdriver just under the back there and just gently tease it up lift out the back section where that little, little tag is and that lifts it out and you can just pull it through nice and easy once you've done this a few times it actually is really easy to get off and this is our chassis that's what we've got as you can see no electrics no pickups, plastic um, bushes around the axles there, so nothing at all. Now, I've got a nice little hollow in there, stick our lights. So I'm going to cut a bit of PCB board, um, add some LEDs onto it, and uh, go from there. So I think the next thing to do, we need to get this little bit out. There's two little tags in there, or lugs. And if you just get a screwdriver very gently in the side there, they lift out, and there's your cab, and then we can get into all that section there. Right, let's find some electronics. Okay, so I've got some components. I've got two red LEDs, I've got a 1K resistor, and I've made myself a little bit of circuit board, um, a PCB board I've just cut up. Got my heat shrink, got the soldering iron, flux and solder, all there to use. Um, so. Referring back to the loco, uh, the loco chassis itself has, um, we've got a, a plastic bush this side and a metal bush this side that hits the axle. So you've got metal plastic and then on this side you've got metal plastic. So you've got metal plastic. Having that diagonal um, feed will pick up the plus and the minus to run the power for the LEDs. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a very small bit of wire like this uh, this is like plastic coated, has a coating on it, or wax coated, I'm not sure what they call it. But it's got a coating on it. If you strip that back, uh, we can then wind that round the axle inside there. We can run it round the axle and then drop the wires back up inside the low coat and to our little circuit board that we've just made up. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to fast forward, make this up, because uh, otherwise you don't see me soldering, because it just takes forever. So we'll make this up and then we'll install it, install it into the low coat and wire it all up. Right, so that's all finished. We've done the circuit board with the LEDs. Resistors in there, that's 1K. So all we need to do now is to take our axle and run our wire around the axle few times in the middle 
Remember one is plastic this side and this one will be metal. The metal one will actually run down the axle bar itself in the middle and that creates the feed from the rail. This one will be isolated and therefore stopping that from earthing out. So we do that on one on one wheel and obviously the other wheel will be the opposite way around and then a horn or cue. And that will give us a, a feed for that side and then the other one will give a feed for that side. Right, let's crack on. This is a little uh, test meter and you want it so your plus and your minus when they make a connection they bleep so what we got to do they work on there we need to find out which one of these wheels is live or dead otherwise it won't pick up and we won't know what we're doing um, uh, so my idea is to run a little spring in the middle of the axle so it can pick up the feed from the rail now i can do this on the front bogey and also on the back bogey if i need to so what we do now We'll put that on, that one doesn't matter which way, that one works, that one's dead. So, so that's a, so that one there's live. So that's the one, so I need a little dot on there, that shows us that that one is the wheel that's a live pickup. Just gonna put a little white dot there, nothing big. And I would have guess it should be the other one is what they normally do. So I'm gonna try that one and we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, it is. So we'll just put a little tiny dot just there. Yeah, so, that's it. so I can wipe them off afterwards, they'll clean off. Right, so I'm gonna make up some wire, run it around the wheels, poke it through, Little aperture there. I've got. A, I can do the same there if I want to. Um, but I'll probably use this one. Okay. So this is coated wire. So I need to strip off the uh, wax coating, which is on the cable. So a bit of sandpaper. Run that down there, and I'll make that bare. I need to do a couple of those. Take them out actually. There you go. If you move the axle out there, that'll pop that out. All I do is actually do it that way. And pull it back in afterwards. Now we've got that upside down, so you've got to remember which way is which. I'll turn it back that way, and I'm going to turn that that way, and it should be the same. So let's go around that side. Don't need too many. And then we put that back in there. And we will need to check that these work afterwards, so we'll check that again. Take that wheel from that side, and we can do it on this bit here. Again. Just a little run round, not too many. That'll do. Put it on there. And then we drop that through. Just make sure that's tucked in. Don't know protruding bits, otherwise it will stop the wheel from turning. There we go. Drop the wire down the middle. That's right in the middle of the chassis, and that should encapsulate our bogey with two wires. Quite simple, really. Nothing. So it's on that wheel, and that should be on that wheel. Just test that again on there. That's it. So we now have opposite connections on either side. So that's all good. Where we are. All we need to do is reattach that back into 
the frame and drop them wires. Now luckily there is a little recess hole that we can run them through and they go through there. There's our wires, that'll be our pickup from the rails. I think we'll try that and see what that looks like and if that doesn't work I will then double it up from there but we'll try just from the front. Right, so let's offer that to there. Again, a little bit of flux on there. Just a little bit. And then a nice bright light, steady hand. Put two together and pops your uncle. Fanny's your aunt. And there we go. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll fix this in place and then we'll do a little test. Put that to there. So what we're gonna do is put the seat in, which is there, that just clips in. Might need to move them wires in the middle a bit. Okay, so that's clipped in, the wires are there. It's under there. Now a little sticky pad will hold that wire down. And then that's clear from any obstruction. So what we'll do now, just do a quick test on the layout to see what that is like. Okay, so the big moment. Might have to add a little bit of weight. So there you go, that is our little chassis wired in. Simple little job, uh, let's put the body back on. So there we have our HSTs, both have um, LEDs in. This is the railroad range one that I've just added the LEDs with the resistor. And that one that you can just see is the one with the um, DCC decoder in. So there's no decoder in this, it's now picking up the feed from the track and it will flick on and off, but um, it's got a nice uh, bright value in there. So it's really, it certainly works well, a couple of red LEDs and a little resistor. I used the 1K resistor in the end, which was 900 and 990 or 980 ohms. So that was um, certainly enough to give it the sort of same sort of definition as the other one. So a fun little project, something you can try, easy to do, and um, it certainly will save you a decoder and have a little tiny bit more effect running to your HST. So there we go, lighting added to both units, LED and resistor and a decoder in that one. So I hope this helps and uh, give it a go. Be interested to know how you get on. <laughs> Thanks for watching, cheerio.